Lesson 8.3D, find a whole given a part and a percent. We can use proportional reasoning to find a whole when we know a part and a percent. It says five is 25% of what number? We know the part is five. We know we've got 25 hundredths as our percentage. We need to find the whole. We use two, one, two part to whole ratios. We find the multiplication factor, five times five is 25, so this number times five is 100, and that would be 20. So we know five is 25% of 20. 24 of the bracelets Sophia made were purple. These 24 bracelets make up 48% of the bracelets. How many bracelets did she make in all? 24 is 48% of how many in all? 48% of what number is 24? These are all asking the same thing. These are phrased differently, but are all asking the same question. What is the whole amount? 24 of the bracelets that Sophia made are purple and represent 48% of all the bracelets she made. How many bracelets did she make in all? We think, we know the part is 24, we know the percent is 48%, we need to find the whole, the in all. We can compare the part to the whole. We write a proportion comparing the ratio of part to whole and to the percent and we write that over 100 for 48%. We find the multiplication factor, 24 times some number is 48, well that would be times two. We're gonna multiply the denominator times two to equal 100. And we find the denominator. We think, well, 100 divided by two is 50. This must be a 50 right here. That means Sophia made 50 bracelets. So remember, the whole is always the denominator. So we found that Sophia made 50 bracelets, and we can check this for reasonableness. 48% is close to 50%, or half. 50% is half, isn't it? So that means half or about half of the bracelets she made were purple. And we know that's 24, and 50% of 50 is 25, so it makes sense that 48% of 50 is 24. That's very close to 25, so it's a reasonable answer. Sam paid $1,200 of his monthly income for January's rent. $1,200 is 40% of his monthly income. What is Sam's monthly income? So we know the part, that's the rent, that's $1,200. And we know that the percentage is 40, so that's gonna be 40 over 100. We have a ratio here and a ratio here. And we can think, well, 1,200 divided by 30 is equal to 40. We can go the opposite direction and do 1,200 divided by 40 to get the 30. That means whatever this whole amount is divided by 30 is going to equal 100. Now, if we don't want to use division, we can use multiplication by writing the percentage on the left. Here we've got it on the right. We can write it on the left and then we'll do 40 times some number is equal to 1,200 and that would be 40 times 30. That means we need to multiply this times 30. Well, that tells us he makes $3,000 as the whole. That's what his monthly income is. Remember, the whole is always the denominator, okay? Here we have 65% of some amount is 130. We have our percentage. We have our part, we just don't have the whole. We write the percentage as 65 over 100, and we have our part, 130, over whatever the whole is going to be, 
and we think 65 times 2 is equal to 130, so we must need to multiply 100 times 2. That's going to give us a 200. We know that that's 200. 65% of 200 is 130. Now this one's written a little differently, but we're still missing the whole. We have 85 is 17% of some total number. Our part is 85. We don't know what the whole is. We know that our percentage is 17 over 100. The whole is always the denominator. We think, well, 85 divided by 5 is equal to 17, because we can try doing multiplication on the side. 17 times some number is 85. When I tried 4, that wasn't enough. That was only 68. But when I did 17 times 5, I got 85. That means 85 divided by 5 is equal to 17. That means whatever this is divided by 5 is equal to 100. This must be 500, because if we divide 500 by 5, we get 100. This must be 500. 85 is 17% of 500. Now, in the previous parts of this lesson, I taught you about cross products. We can solve with a cross product and division. We had 65% of some number is 130. We can use our little grid here. We put our part, that's 130. We don't know the whole. We know the percent is 65 over 100. So we have 130 times 100, that's 13,000. And then we divide it by 65. And that will give us the whole, the missing value. We do. 13,000 divided by 65, and we get 200, so we know this is 200. Our ratio is 130 over 200 is equal to 65 hundredths. If you missed when I did this in the previous lesson, just check the description because there'll be a link in there. So now we're finished with Module 8, and we're going to be moving on to Module 9, which is all about exponents. And in 9.1a, you can see 9.1's broken into two parts. In the first part, we're going to be identifying repeated multiplication and using exponents. I hope this all made sense to you, and I hope you have a really great day, and I hope you join me for next time. Bye.